Hi guys, so we are on our way. We are in the car as you can see. Bella is yawning. <laughs> and Isaac, what's Isaac up to? Sniffing away. So yeah, we're just on our way to um, Stratford upon Avon. Really looking forward to it. Uh, we haven't been there in years, have we? It's been it's probably been about good... 10 years, probably, isn't it? Yeah, we were thinking of going to, like, for a walk somewhere in the countryside, but My then... My tummy hurts. Is your tummy hurting, darling? Yeah. So Isaac said his tummy hurts, but he said actually he feels thirsty. So that's why, guys, parents out there, when you have your kids, and uh, they've said something quite alarming, always, I'm not trying to patronise you, but yeah, just ask lots of questions, because you might find out, actually, the tummy doesn't hurt. I mean, sometimes well, Isaac will say, hurt, yeah, sometimes he says it hurts, when he feels nauseous, when he feels like he's going to throw up um, or if he feels car sick or what have you but thankfully he doesn't really get it anymore What else have we got planned for the week? Birthday, oh, birthday celebrations Oh tomorrow we are, this will, will be part we'll of another blog Picking up block. the cakes tomorrow Picking up the cakes We're tomorrow We're going to pick up a book Yes, for, for the, kids. the kids Yes My That's, Hair Curls Yes, this is a book called My Hair Curls and it's by, by somebody that I know I've known her for years I haven't seen her for a while, but then I grew up in church with her. She went to a church in Birmingham. I was at the one in Wolverhampton. And um, yeah, it's a book by Cheryl Richards. And we'll put a link in the description box below. Really looking forward to reading it to our kids called My Hair Curls. Um, yeah, I think it's really, really important for, I mean, we have books. We've obviously always had diverse books. But then I think we don't have anything that talks about curly hair or anything like that. So I thought, you know what, that would be a really good one. And a good one to share with you as well. We'll share that with you. When we pick it up tomorrow, we'll show you the book and we'll put a link down below for it. Because, yeah, it's been out. I'm not sure, it's been a few years that it's been out for now. And um, I've heard great things about it. So we're really looking forward to reading it with the kids. Just to remind them of how amazing their hair actually is. I think you don't see a ton of people with curly hair do you? No. And so not in this country anyway. So some 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 of you watching this might think and I know some people would think yeah. why do you need a book that promotes curly hair? Why do you need a book that tells kids or to, that tells hands. your kids oh, why your hair Sorry, is nice curly? Yeah. And and they, they don't understand it because mm. you know in this world of well England mm -hmm. like their hair looks normal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So what sums it up was this incident where um, it was Isaac's 100 day birthday or something. Oh so yeah, we yeah, all, it was we a Chinese celebration at my father-in-law's restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. um, this this woman came up to me and said, oh yeah, um, Isaac's hair is really nice. Yeah, it's nice like this, just nice and straight. Mm -hmm. and, and that just sums it up. So. Um, Isaac's ah, hair was straight back then, I remember who and now was. it's curly, so... That's the same woman, I remember. She was saying it in Cantonese to somebody, and she was saying uh, back sick, as in white skin, because he was very fair when he was born. Mm. And, um, yeah, and, yeah, she was really happy. She was saying, oh, his skin is so lovely and what have you, and, you know, sometimes you see some of them come out darker and what have you. She's saying this to me, you know. <laughs> I can't remember what I said to her, but then, yeah, I made sure I addressed it because why would you even come out with rubbish like that to me, who's a black woman, that's daft. But yeah, so, so the, yeah, this we is like the kind to, of, yeah. these are the kind of obstacles that we have to try and overcome mm -hmm. to make sure that our kids aren't paranoid or what's the word, like, um, yeah, they just don't, that they feel confident with in their own skin, that they feel comfortable in their own skin, yeah. and that they know that their curly hair is amazing, that they know their complexion's amazing, mm. that they know that, you know, that their dad's complexion's amazing, that my complexion's amazing, mm. and yeah, that there aren't any hang ups, and um, yeah, and I think, do you know what? I'm really proud of sometimes I, I'm always like, oh, I'm not, one of my pet peeves is boastfulness um, in people. <laughs> But um, sometimes you do have to affirm yourself. And one thing I say is that I'm really proud that we've really managed to encourage and um, sort of reinforce in Isaac how 
amazing of a boy he is and the same with Isabella <coughs> and they're really really proud of their curls I and, am yes proud of their curls proud of their of, of their heritage and all of that aren't you is there anything you want to add sweetheart I'm very proud mm -hmm. and uh, it might not look it, it might just look like there's curls here but when you take the uh, what's it called the, the plat out the plat out and there's no gel it's very very curly yeah it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Do you like having curl curly hair? Are you happy that you have curly hair or do you wish you had straight hair? I'm happy to have curly hair. Oh, that's good. Remember we were saying about, like, you know, with cane rows and stuff like that, the cool styles that you have, mm -hmm. it, it holds much better with curly hair as well. It's much easier to hold, so you've got the advantage yeah. there. So that's really cool. And little Isabella, she loves her curly hair. We've always said, wow, your hair's so beautiful and all of that. And she loves it. And she's like, mommy, I want my hair down. She wants her hair down to show off her curls. But we don't always do that. We try to do protective hairstyles whenever we can. She's got it up today and she is signed out. I can see that she'll be off in about two minutes. <laughs> her eyes are like this. So when you do long blinks. So we're on the most way now, guys. Yes, we're on the motorway. Mummy. So in America, I know you call it the highway. <laughs> we're on the highway. I love the American accent. I wish I had an American accent, but I'm not from America, so that would be strange if I did. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love your American accent. It's just so endearing and so warm. And well, it depends where you're from. New York doesn't sound particularly warm, but it sounds cool. New York. Then you've got like Alabama, which I love. The, it's like the KKK urban, accent. That's okay. Yeah. Why do you just jump to the KKK I'm from bay? The KKK. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Alabama. It sounds warm and friendly. And would you like some gumbo or would you like some pumpkin pie? I just like a new neighbour. Yeah. I just yeah, I love it. And then you've got the uh, what are the accents in America? I'm not good. I'm not good with accents. Yeah, Yipman's not good at all. I'm not the best with accents myself, but I do like to give it a shot. Like when I go to, to Scotland, Scotland, Scotland. Now that sounds like Newcastle, doesn't it? That's more like Newcastle. Well, I'm, I'm from Wales. I'm from Wales. Would you like a digestive? Would you like a daffodil? Why do? I don't know why I say that. I think digestive. me and my friends used to say that at school, and I just stuck with it. I don't know. I'm sure you don't like digestives or daffodils, people from Wales, but I just love your accent. Do we have any um, subscribers from Wales? Do we have any? Please let us know. If you are a subscriber from Wales. Yeah, we have. And if you like daffodils. And, and uh, if you like digestives. Can we get fellas? <laughs> I'll put in the car park for two hours. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that mean it's that, a nice little walk around. Bow, bow, come does back. that mean that I'm not really expecting much? Yeah, two hours is <laughs> a very long time. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it looked quite busy, didn't it, as well? So, yeah. so what time So, we... I wasn't really happy about that. So, so. so we were But we're we'll keep our distance, do... and the kids have got their heavy duty masks on. Wait, 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 These so are really good. Like Isaac wasn't too impressed with the so... design of his, but then the reason why we got this was because the, that, that was the last one that I actually had in his size so yeah. it was either that I remember we bought it just before lockdown yeah. because we we're actually still planning on travelling we're just in the centre of Stratford upon Avon yeah I am smiling and this this is what you expected um, it's kind of what I expected I think the last time we came we were by the lake so it looks a lot prettier here maybe you can find the lake at the moment it looks nice with the buildings um, but then it's it's a bit yeah, it's busy. Can, can we go but to Yeah, we'll see, what, we'll see what we find. Mm -hmm. We always make the best of everywhere. And Stratford is a beautiful place, so let's check it out. So we stumbled upon, upon this house. Yeah, and we're not just sure. Just in front of us, we're not sure. Was it Shakespeare's house? Everyone's taking pictures outside of it, so we're presuming it is. It's probably like a toilet. But it does probably... <laughs> Like a Shakespearean toilet. But nobody's actually saying there's a Shakespeare. There's no oh, sorry, Balbo. Yeah. There's sorry. There's no sign that says it's a Shakespeare's house. Are you okay? Yeah, okay. yeah there's no signs or anything. How does anybody know if it's Shakespeare's house? Mom is hard, okay? Do you think it's Shakespeare's house? Maybe it looks like a house. It's a house with old. <laughs> There's no sign. Oh, I would like to live there. Yeah. I've seen some gardens behind here. 
so there's an entrance. I'm presuming this is Shakespeare's house. These look like his lovely tended gardens. No, no, no. He's Shakespeare had a nice house, didn't he? He had a nice house, especially for back in the day. How are the plants still alive? No, people have looked after it since. We, we've just found out that this is Shakespeare's birthplace. Yes. So we're thinking he's got a really nice house. Or yeah. A, so it's a nice house now, but back it's in the day, <laughs> it would have been a really, really good house. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, back in the day, it would have been a nicer house. Yeah, much nicer. So. You can see it hasn't been very well looked after from the outside, but inside I'm sure it's really good. And then also the gardens have been really tended well. So yeah, it's very impressive so far. I was just saying, asking when can you ever go to a shop? Yeah. When did you ever like going to shops anyway? Do you ever used to go shopping? Oh, Isaac was like, when have we finished, mommy? Have we finished shopping yet? But then now he can't go. He really, really wants to go. So it's one of those things, isn't it, where- Just uh, go to shows, it's that, it's one of those that. things where if you don't have it, you want it. You want it, yeah. don't you? You got yeah. it, you don't want it. Exactly. Yeah, it's a nice little place, isn't it? It's a nice little high street. Some yeah, cute, quirky little like shops. It. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's nicer than your average small town, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Look at these cool pencil cases, Isaac. Look at the pencil case, yeah, babe, look. Mommy. How cool is this I'm pencil friend. case? Uh, I That is so cool. So we got this for Bella and we got this for Isaac. Do you like it? Yes. Did you, what do you think, Isaac? I really Because you said you wanted it. a cool pencil case, so yeah. these are the pe cool pencil oh, cases. Oh, why does it say name? Oh, you put your name in here. You've got the slots to put your name in here. But wait, so, so we can get like a piece of paper. Tonight, yeah. Tonight. And guys, I'd recommend if you like Smiggle and Stationery, get there now because they've got an extra 50% off. So these were like £10 no. and I've got them for £2.50. No, yeah, really good, good, isn't it? Yeah. People, some people are really great about the social distancing, but I was just in Smiggle, it's a really small shop. And so I was in there and there were only about three people and I turned around and there was like 15. <laughs> I think some people just don't care, so I was really happy that she was like, oh, excuse me, it's getting crowded in here, can you all wait outside? Oh, it's Christmas! Oh, wow, no way. Oh, my God! Is it Isn't this giving you all the feels? In that <laughs> Oh, my God! I love Christmas. It's one of my favourite times of... I love summer. But I love summer for the facts of, like, when I'm going away as well, because in England we don't really get much sun. Oh my and gosh, but Christmas is literally the most wonderful time of the year, isn't it? It is. I, it's I don't know so how you guys amazing. Can think about it. Oh, oh, I can. Look at all the. Oh, the look at all the decorations. This the songs. Is a bit weird. It is a bit odd, especially yeah, if it, especially it? if it was really hot. But because it's cooled down a bit, it feels a bit normal. It says only 144 sleeps till Christmas. This is the earliest count I've seen. Would you live here? Yeah. Do you know what? I, it's not too bad. I don't know. I, it's difficult to say would I live here based on the, just the shops so far. Um, but people, nice seem, people seem friendly. It's quite, it's quite, it's um, not very diverse. It's like a mix, no, I was going to say, it's quite a mixed crowd. Oh, really? I think yeah. it's really not diverse at all. Yeah. Okay, but the ones that we've seen from. Uh, different ethnic groups, they seem like tourists because they're the ones taking all the pictures. Oh, well, let's have a look, let's go past some of the estate agents and check out okay. some of the house prices around cool. here. Let's, let's do that, we'll take you with us, guys. Let's but have a look at the house prices around here. They've got some lovely shops like Joe Malone, White Company, the Harvey, uh, what else? Oh, Boots, I do need to grab a couple of things from Boots. So let's go! See, this is what I don't like, the lack of social distance. Why is everyone so close? These look nice. No prices. Oh, 1.1. Oh, they're not built yet. The plots. Oh, nice. Oh, I like the look of these. Grand designs looking kind of vibes. Oh, no. Please not to enter. That looks nice. These are nice properties. Let's have a look on. Do you want to get one? Should we get two? Two yeah, or three? Uh, okay, these ones are more affordable as well. Got some here for like. 335, 795, 285, 900. So, we're towards the million again. <laughs> so, guys, we're looking for the river. Yeah. 
And apparently the river's down, 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 down. Oh, it is looking more picturesque down here, actually. The guy didn't sound too sure when no. I asked him where, where the river was. He didn't was. sound like, well, I don't know what the He didn't instill. Yeah, he didn't really he didn't still move sound confidence, very but he? Let's hope he's right. Yeah, flowers are beautiful. Okay. I was saying they've got really nice shops here, like L'Occitane, Jo Malone. Boat company, just some really nice shops. I like it. Okay. And in answer to your question, yes, I could move here. <laughs> yeah, within like 20 minutes, I'm like, yes, please. Let's check out the river. No, but you just never know, place. As I said, I'm not. You're that a bit posh. I'm not, I'm not that You're shallow. Posh, no, but I'm not that shallow. Do you know what I'm really impressed with Isabella? Is that she's kept her mask on without complaints. She's just been such a good girl. She hasn't fussed with it apart from since I've mentioned it. Well. <laughs> and I'm just so impressed. She's used to wearing it, just like when we've been out and stuff. But. We don't wear it for like this long. We she hasn't, as I said, she hasn't really been anywhere apart from like the park. She's so been better than really, adults. Yeah, she is. I'm so impressed. She's just getting on with it, and she's been such a good little girl. Well done, Bella. Should we get you a nice treat after? Yeah. This is so pretty. Um, it's actually a female green duck. A female green duck. Yes. Okay. Isaac's really big on birds. He knows a lot more than me. Female like I watch green the, duck. Yeah, he's yeah, he's he, he loves bird spotting and knowing all the names of the birds and all of that. He's really big on it, which I think is so lovely. My lovely neighbour Crispin bought him his very first bird book. Oh, there's one in there. Yeah, and he absolutely loves going through it, taking all the birds off that he's seen. What have you? So thank you, Crispin. You're a star neighbour. If you're watching. And Eileen, you're both amazing. I don't know about you guys, but there's something about being by the water, whether it's the sea, the river, a pond. It's just really calming and just, even though there are quite a lot of people around, it's like you just switch off and get in touch with nature, which is what I love. You smell the coffee? Coffee. No, I could smell fish and chips. So it smells really good. Or maybe it's fish and chips. Yeah. That's all I've been smelling is fish and chips. Are, we've walked past quite a few fish and chip shops, which is making me... Do you want to get some? Later, on our, when we get back home, yeah, we can get from our local fish and chip shop where I know the cod is cod, not panga. I'm sure they won't. Yeah, I'm sure this, around here, I'm sure the cod is actual cod and uh, the haddock is actual haddock. <laughs> I've just had a few unfortunate situations because I've got an allergy to panga fish. Pangasius. Pangasius, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've been to one, there's two places in particular and they lied to me about what fish it was. And then they owned up to it after, but I was throwing up their foot. And I was like, you, you can't just mess about with uh, allergies. Did they give you any? Because some, you some pe no, some people. They, they said to you me, can die from an allergy. Yeah, exactly. Thankfully, mine isn't as serious. I, but throwing up, that's not a great response, is it? So no. my body just rejects it immediately. You know how a lock works, Isaac? Yeah, so there, there's meant to be like a wheel, a wheel and then it, it makes that water go up. Yeah. And, and then they open those doors. Yeah. And, they come and, come and, and then they open those doors. So then the canoe can go through there. Yeah, well done, Isaac. Yeah. That's really good. I remember when we were, I think it was Brid not Brindley Place, it was uh, the mailbox. Yeah. I think you taught him then. Oh, was okay. it then, Isaac? Daddy taught you, or did no, you see it on TV? I, I, I saw some Peppa Pig. Oh, you saw Peppa Pig? Bella, 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 <laughs> forget about what Daddy's told you, it's Peppa Bella, Pig. Bella That's what will teach them the best. <laughs> yep, so. So I think we've seen everything that's needed to be seen. Obviously, we haven't gone to the main attractions, we haven't gone inside. The Shakespeare's museum. house, the museum, the Mad Museum, you need to pre book. Yeah, if you like to look um, at old houses, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, I think you'd Yipman's, really like that. Yeah, that's it. Yipman's not that's funny. For me, it's not really nice. <laughs> yeah, but then it's nice to see just to say that you've done it and ticks it off your list. But that could be something that we do next time we come. Would you come back? Would I come back? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, I definitely it, would. It's quite close. Whoa! Yeah. How many swans? And, um, wow. Uh, I mean, geese. Wow, they're all coming through the geese, sorry guys. Just distracted by the geese that are coming through. They look like they're on a mission to find something. They're being led by the swan. The swan is the leader of the pack. So you're yeah. saying get them? It took about an hour to get here, so yeah. it wasn't too it's not far. far at all, is it? It's quite picturesque and nice. Yeah. I think um, 
Yeah, for a few hours. It's a nice, it's a nice little drive. Yeah, it's lovely. Kids, do you like it? What do you think, Isaac? What do you think of it here, Isaac? Yeah. It's yeah. not good. Yeah. Why are your arms and sides, Isaac? What have you done to your t-shirt? No, no, I'm just armless. Are you armless? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so. I prefer to go to like Birmingham, I think. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh. Or London. Yipman's more of a city boy. Yipman, oh no. I think we're all a city family, but I really appreciate it here. For me, I love it here. I think it's so pretty, really quaint. I could easily spend a couple of days here and uh, chill and explore more. Because I'm sure there's a lot more than just the main street, high street. And it's, uh, it's chilly. Are you feeling chilly? So. Do you want to put your jacket on, Isaac? Would I come back in a hurry? I mean, I'm good for like another two years, I think. I've, okay. had, I've had my fix of Stratford upon Avon. Okay. Cool. I think, um, you know what? What about if we did the river, if we did the river boat trip? River boat know, trip. And then we had some maybe a few restaurants maybe or something, restaurants, some food. You but know. because I put in two hours, I and, feel like. And because, yeah, but we can always go back to pull it up. Okay, do you want to go back to the car park to put in another two hours? No. Exactly, there's your answer. Oh, this, this could be our um, rating system for like um, every place yeah. we visit. We, yeah. we, we always put in two hours. Hours, yeah, and, and then we say, would we, go would we go back to refill? That's it, exactly. So would you go back to refill? No. Okay. Cool. I think for How me, many stars? I think if we came back and there wasn't the virus, and you know, I was, I, I felt free enough to go to, you know, all the food places. Me personally, I'm not going to be having ice cream and all that just because it's outdoors and all. You know, I'm just not, not there yet. But um, yeah, if it was a, another time. I would definitely say, yeah, 100%, I'll come back. Do you want to go and refill the parking meter? No, I don't. I want to go back home and grab some fish and chips from my local place <laughs> and then microwave it because that's what I do. <laughs> so, guys, that ends that. On, so, Isaac. if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Yes. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting the subscribe button Absolutely. and clicking on the yeah. bell. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you next week. Take Thanks care. Thanks for watching, guys. Take Bye -bye. care. Bye. 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 Bye.